Think scalability means throwing more servers at the problem. That's like adding lanes to a jam-packed road without fixing traffic rules. Scalability starts in how you design, organize teams and shape workflows. Infrastructure is only one pillar. True scale is when demand grows and your quality, speed and costs stay predictable. Imagine a restaurant. Adding more stoves, in our case servers, won't help if the menu is chaotic, the kitchen is cramped and the wait staff can't coordinate. You need better flow before more firepower. 1. Modular design. Break the system into smaller independent services and contracts so teams ship without stepping on each other. 2. Asynchronous workflows. Use queues and events to decouple peaks from processing capacity. Smooth the load instead of spiking it. 3. Statelessness and idempotency. Make operations repeatable and safe to retry, scale horizontally without fear of duplicates. 4. Autonomous teams. Align teams to product boundaries with clear SLAs, metrics and ownership. Reduce cross-team bottlenecks. A bank scaled real-time payments during festival peaks by following these steps. 1. Decoupling payment initiation, fraud checks and ledger updates with events. 2. Caching, read heavy balance queries separately from writes. 3. Rate limiting and circuit breakers at partner edges. Result, 10x traffic handled with stable latency and zero major incidents. Scalability is in bigger servers, it's better system thinking. Design for independence, elasticity and graceful failure, then let infra catch up. Follow Future Architect for more strategies that turn good systems into great ones.